Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Tara with Mayhem Crafty Cards. And today I'm excited to be a part of Courtney Kreber's 25 Days of Christmas Card Series. Um, we are day 20 and our theme is Shaker Cards. So I picked up, and this is a brand new set and I, I love it, the O Penguin Tree from Mama Elephant. Now this guy took me a long time to color, which I thought I hit record, but you know what happens. <laughs> So I already had it stamped and colored and I completely just forgot to that I wanted to do my background ink blend it. So what I did was I cut a mask which was very painful to do because I usually just use my scan and cut. So I went ahead and took my cottontail blending brushes from rabbit hole designs and just I just wanted to make a like a, a sky scene where it was kind of icy but you know not really. So I used speckled egg and I didn't care that it didn't blend very well. I just wanted that look of um, the sky. So after I did that, I made the mistake of using some white watercolor pigment instead of my white like acrylic paint. And I used that with the Brutus Monroe. They're both Brutus Monroe, but the Brutus Monroe um, element, which is like a really pretty shiny silvery color. So I mix them together and here comes the big old splotches. It just, you know, it's Christmas. They look, I thought they looked like snowflakes. I should have used my splat box, but didn't. But luckily, since it was watercolor, I was able to pick it back up. So after adding all these little splotches, I went ahead and cut two um, rectangle bases. Or yeah, I guess they would be rectangle. And I just went ahead and glued those together because I wanted a little bit of thickness, but not like super thick. I didn't want this to be a super thick shaker card because I wanted, you know, it's easier to mail when it's not like super thick. And I just took a piece of acetate and went ahead and used some new scrapbook.com tape. I've never used it before. And the release paper was really nice and easy. I couldn't believe it. Like I was sitting there waiting like, oh my gosh, everybody's going to watch me try to peel this back into this tape off and it's going to be terrible. So I went ahead and adhered that, adhered my acetate to the back of that sheet. And I just, it was just a piece of acetate that I had laying around. Like luckily it was the same size. So if you guys don't know, Courtney is doing 25 videos with, um, each day it's a different theme. We're day 20. Um, and she's, you know, there's 20 other or 25 other participants in this in this series which I which is awesome I mean for Courtney to make 25 videos in a row it's, I really admire her because sometimes I struggle getting one video out so after I went ahead ahead uh, ahead in here oh my gosh words are hard today adhered my acetate to that window I brought back out my for some reason I don't know why the color change is crazy but I took my mask off and realized like it did splotch up a little bit. So I did use this sentiment from that same set and that's the Mama Elephant O Penguin Tree. W sending warm wishes all winter long. Now my son loves penguins like anything penguin and he actually is the one who picked this set out and I asked him because I had also got another set from Mama Elephant which I'm going to do a haul later and show you guys but it <laughs> this card is for him because he just loves these penguins and I did use my alcohol markers I used the Ohuhu markers I will have to list them because I used it took me forever it really did <laughs> I'm not an alcohol marker colorist I stick more with my watercolors so that's why I don't see a whole lot of contrast on these penguins because it was it was a little rough getting <laughs> all these colored so I also you grabbed some scrapbook.com foam tape and I believe this one is the I want to say it's the quarter inch. I could be wrong. I'll have to double check. But again, super easy to lay down. The release paper was super easy to, you know, take off. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna need to get some more of this. Um I do want to try pear blossom pear blossom presses um foam tape because everybody speaks so highly of it and it just looks awesome and so much easier but I only did use one layer of foam tape because like I said I wanted this to be you know a little bit of a flatter card to send out to you know 
oh, this one will probably go to Courtney. <laughs> but I went ahead and took off all my adhesive tape or my backing because I've made the mistake of not doing it and gotten my little gems everywhere. So I use the Sparkle Blends Pastel Penguins, which is perfect for this set. And some of the Ice Chip Blends, which I believe was a free... Um, it, she sent it free with the purchase. Now, the Ice Chips do have the, these little clear balls in them. And the, it was just too high for what I was going for. So I went ahead and put a little bit of those on there. And I made sure I got a good bit of Penguins in my mix. Adhered my acetate. Um, and also, this is an A2 size, so it's four and a quarter by five and a half. Top folding, I just went ahead and adhered that to a white card base. And luckily, I was able to line it up. I couldn't believe it. I never can line things up straight. So it's fun because it has a lot of like different elements to the blend. So if you've never checked out Sparkle Blends, it's pretty awesome. So I'm going to insert the pictures, and I will see you guys next time. I will link Courtney's video down below. Bye, guys. <music>